what is it about the concept of SAS that makes it so commentable? There's contestants talking about other contestants, instructors talking about contestants. Why is it that there's so much noise around this program? I guess because we've never seen anything like it. You know, this is not a reality show in terms of what we're used to as reality. This mm. is actual reality. So you've got these civilians have been thrown into an environment yeah. where they thought, well, what I thought, and I can't speak for anyone else, that it'd be stop, start, this is what you do, have another go, that wasn't quite right. Well, it wasn't mm. that. So this was the first, I think, Australian actual reality show. And that's why I think, you know, the mud's being slung from every which way. Mm. Um, because we were all put into an environment and again, I can't speak for anyone else, but I know for me, I obviously didn't think it was going to be what it was. Um, and in hindsight now... I mean, the carry-on on the weekend of how I was a disappointment and um, I was this horrendous the from the outset from yeah. Ollie Ollerton. But then in the same breath, the day I left, within minutes of getting um, getting off, off the, uh, the course, getting a message saying, can you work for me? Mm. <laughs> and you did a good job under injury. I was like, seriously... Has he sent you the pitch yet? Oh, no, he hasn't. And I, you know, and I told him to shove it up his fucking jumper because the reality is you know what it's not all about a media mention say what you think and that's what i've stood by my whole life whether you like it or you loathe it you you know you you call it like you see it it doesn't have to be what everyone wants to hear now why did he have to say i was horrid and a disappointment but in the same sentence say can you work for me that's what i mean you get there's a just a lot mention. of noise there's just a lot of noise about this i've never seen anything like it no, no. If, I, if i had my time again well i absolutely wouldn't have gone and done it um because i wasn't in the shape to be able to do it no i know you're on the program for six six <laughs> minutes so, well you know when i do you something know. i do it with impact you do yes. <laughs> How's your health now? I mean, it's a lot good. of people understand that you really were suffering and that you did the program yeah. because you made a commitment to do it. Yeah. And, I mean, it was awful seeing you having to drag yourself through the mud there, but, I mean, you were giving it the best effort I that tried. you could. I tried, and yeah. that's the thing. You know, I've had every troll and sundry, and I'm still today looking at messages going, wow, I can't believe people are still saying this. Um, I showed up and I tried, and really, six weeks out from having a fractured hip and pelvis, it was a stupid thing to do. But again, you know what, I've always been of the mentality that if you sign up, you do it, um, no matter what the situation is. Same with cancer, I came to work every day. Um, so, you know, I'm wrong for doing it and I'm, and I'm wrong if I didn't do it. So, it was a no-win situation.